Buff Nation, what up? BWB, my bad wagon buffs. What it is, what it does, and what it's gonna be. It's your man's Harry Billion. Welcome to the Liberian Perspective. Family, I gotta get to work real quick, so make sure to smash that subscribe button and make sure to give me the thumbs up. It helps that algorithm. Guess what, family? That's all the business I got. You know what time it is. Let's work. You know I went to Boulder on the 22nd to see the spring game. We're in a car, guys. We're in Denver, baby. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. I met some of the supporters. I met some BWBs. That's what's up, man. What's your name? My name is Freeman. But overall, I was really impressed with the game. Hey, they cleared the snow fairly fast. I was I don't know if you got here early. Man, I thanks for your support, man. I really appreciate you. Yeah, I have watched you and you do a good job on there and I love your channel. Thank you. So just keep up the good work. It's hard work, just like Dion said, you have to work hard and I'm do it every day. I ain't twerking, I'm working. <laughs> I know. God bless you, man. God, God bless you. Going. Yeah. All right, take care. Yeah. Camp man coming in for the ATL. All right, so say down. This is a supporter, this is a club member. Yes, sir. You watch the show. Man, Wigan Buff. We no, I'm a Georgia Bulldog fan, yeah, but they got me out here in Boulder, Colorado support. The buff, man. For sure, man. It was cold out there. It was a little nasty out there. I'm on my way to the game. We in spring, and this snow is crazy. This is like the winter wonderland right now. What's what's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with this picture? Y'all tell me what's wrong with this picture. Sunday I'll be in New York. It ain't gonna look like this. Nothing like this. Boulder, Colorado. What's happening? What y'all doing? Why are you playing with me like this? Like straight up snowing. Like it's not even like playing around snow. It's just kind of like a really snow snow. For real, for real snow. Like, hey guy, I'm snowing and deal with it type of snow. But guess what? There was still a tailgate. People were still tailgating out there and we had a great time. I wanted to give you that experience. So let's go ahead right now and go on to the tailgate. I am here with the tailgate, lot 436. I believe there's a few people here. There may be some creators here, but I have some BWBs. I have some lifers. I have some people who watch the show and they are buff lifers and we got to talk to them. Please come in here. Please have a conversation with me. Oh man, <laughs> good to see you. Tell the people who you are, please. Robin. And you guys say you watch the show, right? Oh yeah, every episode, every episode. Wow, thank you so much for watching. So give us a buff story. Wow. It, could, it could be one of the male stories. <laughs> the good stories are the Nebraska games. Those are the good stories. It gets a little wild here. You got to come back for Nebraska game because it gets crazy. Do you think Matt is upset? What's going on with Matt? I think he just watches too much Prime. I think he Everybody does. Everybody watches Prime though. Everybody does. Everybody's watching Prime. But the thing is, okay, so since you guys have been lifers, you guys are in the buff life circle because you, you say you are season ticket holders. Oh yeah. What are the conversations that the lifers are having? Oh, we're excited. We coming, baby. We coming. We were here from the championship years. I mean, there was years we never lost a game we dominated and we're going to get back there this is prime time do you guys get some type of like communication as to saying hey this is what's going on the program is doing well we need you guys to support more what is the talk that the, the school's having with you guys as far as like what coach can do and what you guys can do what all of us could do well they just send out emails once in a while just encourage us to get involved right and uh it's always, you know, if we can donate a little more, we do that. So even beyond season tickets, we try to donate a little more. Okay. What are your friends talking about? Because, you know, you're the lady. The ladies got to talk sometimes when you guys are at the salon, right? What are y'all talking? Are y'all talking Coach Prime? Are y'all talking Buffs? What are y'all talking about? And we're not even in this area. We live in an area uh, an hour north. north so. hey, hey, the conversations are going on over there? Oh, yeah. Everybody's uh, talking Buffs. Yeah. Everybody's trying to get on the, get on on the, the bandwagon. bandwagon but. Bandwagon Buffs. Uh-oh. <laughs> BWB. BWB. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Great guess who? Guess who just Here showed up? I recognize the face. <laughs> there you go. Thank Good you so much. You. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, man? Man, all the way here. All the way from New York. I got Chris here. Chris from Alpine Garage Sports. This is my outlaw. What is it like out here for you guys? Because you guys are like buffers. Yeah, so. Do you, do you have a name? No, we're called the Buffs. That's it. We don't have buff. You could call us the Buffers. Buffers is cool, man. Yeah, yeah. You can use buff in anything. I think you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can. And you'll hear it today in the stadium, too. So when you get to the student section at the end of the school, uh -huh. uh, at the end of the school uh, fight song, You'll hear it. Okay, so you're yeah, gonna... the good ones are gonna put buff in there instead of other words. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah, there's yeah. a lot going on here. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna get yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah, get yeah, quite yeah. excited. No, it, it's <laughs> uh, it's snowing today, which is you know honestly when we talked about spring game, I I said I wanted it to snow. 
Now, I got a lot well, of... you brought the snow I got in? a lot of junk for that. No, no, no. Coach Prime has way more pull than I do, and he wanted sun. So Mother Nature's got more pull than anybody. But Why did you want it to snow, though? Because this is Colorado. When we tailgate like this, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Although yeah, most no. people are typically in shorts, so I don't know what's going on now. This is crazy. New York will be freezing. Yes. We won't be out here where people got shorts on. No, I understand. Coach Prime talked about this. He yes. said, them Florida boys, you're going to be fine. You got to come out here and experience this. I want to talk to you about this, right? They call them the flat irons. Is that? Yes. So your skyline is called the flat irons. Yeah. So the mountains that are in front of Boulder right there, you can't see them right now, but there are some flat rocks that all face southeast. Okay. Those are called the flat irons. There's a bunch of slabs that face that direction. Okay. It's too bad you can't see it today because it's see? beautiful, especially in... Like sunset? Oh my goodness. That's what I wanted to tell, tell you about. The road that we're coming down from Louisville, right? Yeah. Do y'all call it Louisville or Louisville? You can say Louisville. Y'all say Louisville here, but Louisville. the real Louisville people say Louisville. Right, that's right. That's right. That's so right. we're coming down that stretch, right? We hit the stretch and we see, I thought I was about to run into something because it looked fake. It was so picturesque. It looked like it was fake. Yes. You guys deal with this every day. So when you sit on the east side of the stadium, okay? which is where you should sit when you get into the stadium. Uh -huh. You can look at that the entire game. The entire game, you look at that, you look at the field. Then you look at that, then you look at the field. So every time there's a break in the game, you're looking at the flat iron. So does it ever get old? No. That's why we live here. That's why you're loving here. Because we live here, yes. So, so you know how they say reality TV, after the first week, the cameras kind of disappear, right? Right. Because people kind of forget that the cameras are around and they start going buck wild. You guys never forget that these mountains are always here? We we see it every day in our house. And you still remember? You walk out the backyard and you can see it. You drive anywhere in Colorado and you can see it. Yo, the mountains are something else, yo. You cannot see this on video. If you see this on video, we're here and it looks like it's fake. So if you see it on video, it looks like a postcard and it looks fake. But if you see it in real person and it looks fake. Daddy, this is a big deal. They're always here. But has it disappeared? No, or does, it no, never disappeared. No, 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 You no, still no. take it in every yes, day? Yes, 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 yes. That's why we live here. Without this, there's nothing. I, I don't know about the skyline where you're from, but this is the best skyline in existence. Coach Prom talked about this. He said you barely see cops. We saw two or three cop cars. I saw a black car and a white car. What is going on here? Y'all that safe? <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it's a it's a safe area, definitely. Uh, we got the SWAT truck actually out today, dude. I don't, you well, yeah, it because I mean because it's gonna be like yeah. forty some thousand people, so I get I get yeah. it. But man, I'm riding through the city. I'm riding oh, no, through yeah. the streets. No. I see we what hear no sirens. Like, I know. So are you saying are you saying back in New York you're seeing cops every five feet? My guy, I'm telling you, we live with sirens. Oh no 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 no. We we never hear sirens. The si you know how in the country the roosters the chicken wake you up? Yes. The sirens wake us up. <laughs> So, no, it's a, it's a totally different place, man. You got to subscribe to Alpine Garage Sports. Go subscribe to his channel, guys. Let's go, Buffs! Good to see you, Harry. Good to see you, my brother. We getting it in like that now, We huh? getting it in, man. I like it, I like Listen, it. Listen, man. We, we, haven't, we haven't seen this kind of action up here in a while. So you are a lifer? Uh, a long time, yeah. A, a, a long time? Are you past five years? Shit, I'm about 22 in. You are a lifer, man! What you talking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yo, man, I'm Harry B, man, with TLP Sports Club. All right. We are the bandwagon buffs. We're new to this area. We're new to Coach Prime and All what right. he's doing to Colorado. So what what is what has it been like? I see you got the Prime shirt on. What yeah. has it been like new for you era, lifers? For, for you 20 new years, guys, that's been through the 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 bad, the good stuff. The what has it been like so, recently? Come no, just, no, it's just good to have good new energy. That's all. New energy. Uh, I'm not even going to hate. It's nice to see more people like us up here, you know, so we have been missing that for a long time, uh, all 22 years, to be honest. But uh, no, good energy. We haven't had this kind of energy. Even this parking lot, most games last year was half empty. So, yeah, so it's good to just see people up. And this is just spring game. So let's hope the momentum carries into the fall. The conversations at the barbershop, the conversations at the house. What are you guys talking about? Uh, we're talking about how we're about to get it in, you know? We're talking about how we're about to shake up the shake up the league. Do you have faith that we're going to win more than five games? Yes. Oh, you're going to tell me why? No, it's just new energy. We're going to get out, right? We're going to play well against TCU, right? We're going to show everybody it's not a fluke situation. And then from there, we're just going to build momentum along the way. Three upsets against ranked teams this season, for sure. That's what we believe in the whole bandwagon buffs universe or bandwagon buff nation. We believe that we're going to win and we're going to win big. We're so going, We're going back to a bowl game, period. 
That's for sure. Well, a ball game is like, what, five, six games? Six, six games. Yeah, you win six games, you're two. I don't well, want to go to, like, the corn, the, the corn. I, but, but wait, wait. I, I, but as, as, as a lifer, we'll take any ball game. <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's been a while. It's been, it's been a while. <laughs> I don't give a elbow bowl. <laughs> hey, we might even create a bowl game in this parking lot, but it's been a while. So we'll take any ball game. the tailgate bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take, we'll take any one. John. Came here from Arizona. Arizona. Oh, man. Yeah, it was okay, so, so you watch the show, right? I do. Okay. I do. I'm from Boulder. Uh-huh. Uh, I was born and raised here and uh, went in the Navy instead of uh, CU. But my dad brought me here when I was five years old. Uh -huh. And there's some towers as you drive in. The, they're dorm towers. Okay. And this family that owns a bunch of banks, the Williams family, built those and donated them to CU. My dad delivered mail to that bank. Wow. So they gave him season tickets to the next year's games. So as a broke family... We were able to come to every single CU game because he got free tickets. So it just awesome. So that's why I'm like, I cried when Deion Sanders got hired. It's sad, but I cried. I'm a grown man, but I cried. It was awesome. So, but no, Love Boulder is so great here. And flew in yesterday. It was 90 yesterday in Arizona. Didn't bring a coat, nothing, just a sweatshirt. And I'm like, I should have known better. <laughs> I think Nick Saban called God and went, So can you? <laughs> Is there any possibility you can make this look not great? So trust me, anybody who wants to come here, come here. Because this is like, even right now, it's snowballs flying. And even even those that are coming, like, it's really, even right now, it's not like cold, cold. This is not New York cold. Because no. um, this is this feels good. You frequent these uh, tailgates? tailgates? Yeah, usually they're at a different field. They just didn't down here probably because they don't want to mess up the field. Oh, okay. But, yeah, I've got friends who, that have been here forever that have businesses, and they all do these tailgates. Okay. And you just come get free food, free beer. So all this Why is not? free? All this is free, yeah. Why am I talking to you? I got to go. There's some, there's some free guac over there. There's free beer. There's all kinds of stuff. But I saw you over here talking to Chris, and I'm like, cool, man. I watch this guy. He does a good job. You do a good job. Like, not every, like you're Thank not you. from here. You didn't go to the school. There's a lot of guys jumping on board that didn't. But all of them, like, you I like a lot because you have Thanks. a lot of information because you're not, like, whatever in it. You know I'm learning. I mean? I'm learning a lot. I'm new to the college football space, but I'm also new to voters or to, to Colorado. So I'm doing as much as I can to educate myself sure. while I'm educating other people. So it's right fun on, for me. I'm well, enjoy. It's actually a very hospitable place. Yeah, the people are nice. It's like, yeah, it's just a chill place to be and really cool place to live. Unfortunately, the cheapest house here is a million dollars, but what are you going to do? The you cheapest know? house cheapest, is a million dollars. Cheapest house is a million dollars. Yeah. So start saving. Uh, what happened is back in the 80s, um, everything was growing so much, they did a no-growth rule, so you can't build in Boulder anymore oh, really? unless it's on a place that's already there. And I'd say 70% of Boulder's protected by history, so like historical sites and stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, I saw you over here. I thought I'd say hi. Man, thank you so You're much for talking job. to me. I appreciate you. En All enjoy, right. enjoy Colorado. It's a lot better, a lot better than it used to be. It was 80 degrees a couple days ago. Cool. So. Come on. Let's get to this sign. It says, go. You want to you wanna read it for us? Go, Buff. Go, see you. You got this. <laughs> you got this. What is your name? Leah. And, and mom, is that mom? I'm mom. Is it okay for her to put it on, on the camera? Uh, absolutely. Thank yes. you so much. That is, hard. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> go, Buffs. <laughs> look, at, look at this. You see what I'm saying? You see this guy? I didn't make any of this. I'm just out here sporting. He's just out here doing it. What's your name, guy? My name's Keaton. Uh, don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget that. We're New Yorkers. We, we, we used to that. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah, man. So are you from here? I Born and raised, baby. Do you have a favorite buff story you can tell us? I need you to reach deep in there and give me your best buff story. Okay, I'm on the spot. One sec. Let me... Take a, yeah, take a sip. I'll wait. I got to help me out. What's my favorite buff story? I forget. I need a, I need a buff story. Like, give me something that my constituents, because we're BWBs. We're bandwagon buffs. Okay. Give me something. Okay. In 2001 in this stadium, mm -hmm. it was kind of a day like this, maybe a little bit, ah. maybe a little bit nicer. We played on. Nebraska. Wait, wait, wait. Which I don't, I don't mean to cut you off, but there's a lot of Nebraska's thing going on here. Yeah. Chris said Nebraska, he said Nebraska, then you said Nebraska. Yeah, we, no one likes corn is that, that is that <laughs> We don't like corn. Nebraska. We don't like Nebraska. Anyways, we're, we're playing Nebraska here. They're one number one in the country. We're number 15. They come in here, they're favored by like 10 points or something, and we beat them 62 to 36. That was my favorite Folsom Field memory ever in my lifetime. And what year is this? 2001. I must have been 10 years old. Stormed the field, by the way. Yep. 
Oh, you're still celebrating that movie? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's all we can do. Second to that, Don't tell my we parents, we though. did. <laughs> yeah, we did win the Pac-12 South in 2016, and that was great. So. Hey, yeah. can you tell us your name? Jake. Jake from. Boulder. Born Boulder. We, we, I mean, born you don't meet too many, uh, you know, purebreds out here. Yeah. We are born, bred, educated here, and look at us, just oh, absolutely man. winning. I mean, look at us. Uh, look at us. We're excited. Are to we have not fun. in here though, man? It's a new day here, so we're excited. P Everyone, Sports go Club. watch TLP Sports Club. This guy's the man. Click, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you ain't watching TLP Sports Club, you're missing out. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks for coming, man. Thank you, thank you. We love the bandwagon bus. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate uh, you. Yeah. Please let the people know who you are. What's up? My name's RK from DMVR. We got our tailgate going on here. Check out the channel, DMVR Sports. I'm Harry B from TLP Sports Club. We are the bandwagon buffs, the right. BWBs. BWBs. That's right, BWBs. Welcome, by the way. Thank we, you. Uh, we embrace everyone who wants to jump on the bandwagon. We're bandwagon buffs, but I'm asking people who right. are lifers. There's a lot of excitement that's going on right now from the lifers, right? Yes. Coaches here. But I need to hear your favorite buff story like what reach in there and get me one because i've gotten a couple of nebraskas we beat nebraska yeah. they was favored and we beat them what is your favorite buff story man all right well that's what i was gonna go to it was 62 36 oh. that's the one so I, I so i'll think of another one but okay. that was when i was nine years old man and i have met into every game that have been at this stadium but two since then so that's like 123 out of the last 125 i've been to since we beat nebraska 62 36. what did y'all do to celebrate that day because i'm sure it was something because everybody's talking about that day yeah man we uh one we took down the goal post you know you've seen it everyone jumps up starts shaking they took oh, down yeah. the goal post uh -huh. charged the field took to the city the people are carrying around the goalposts like through the city um so yeah did you take anything home any memorabilia home so like i was i was a kid so i got a couple of autographs from down on the field i remember a couple of players gave me their gloves i still have them to this day any word because you guys are lifers right yes, and you sir. guys are dmvr and you represent the team and you're putting the team on any word for the new buffs that are out here anything you can tell us that we need to know before the season starts like what should we look forward to what can you give us to hold on to damn man i mean first of all i promise you the weather will be better okay. the Weather will be better once we get around to the season. Um, but honestly, like, just when you get in that stadium, you can feel something. Like, there's a little magic in there. Uh, and that, to me, is what you can look forward to. Like, when you walk in there on a game day, we might get it today because of how many people are going to be in there. But when you walk in on a game day, you can just feel the history, the magic, what makes this place special. Uh, and as for pointers, we got to avoid red. We don't wear red. No red. No red. Is there a story behind it? Nebraska. Oh! From Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Yes, sir. So, yeah, whoa, so no red. Is Nebraska the, the rival? Yeah, so we used to be in the same conference for a long, long, long time. We're not in the same conference anymore, but the hate has never gone away. So they're our biggest rival. We play them this year and next year, uh, so it, it's going to be fun. Is there another rival that's in the conference? Not really. So uh, since we moved to the Pac-12 kind of recently, we haven't had that natural rivalry develop, especially because we haven't been good, if we're being honest. Uh, so we haven't had that big win that sparks the rivalry like we did in Nebraska like in 89 and back then. But the other rival would be Colorado State for obvious reasons, yeah. right up the road. Right. Uh, and so, you know, we usually we usually play them most years just in an out-of-conference game. Um, but their little brother, you know, they're, they're not quite on our level. Nebraska obviously has a lot of history, so we've always kind of aimed to, uh, to take them down. Okay, so last question. Yes, sir. The BWBs were out here, and we want to be committed. I always tell her that we start off as bandwagon buffs, but something's going to make us fall in love with this place. Yeah. Give me two things that you think will make us stay here. Two things. All right, number one is going to be the stadium. Like, when you walk in there, like I said, it's special. That place, it's legitimately my favorite place on earth. When I like think about my life, I remember it through moments in that stadium. Uh, so that I think will, will be very transformational. To be honest, the other thing is the colors, right? We have the best colors in the world. Like, that is true. Everyone looks good in black and gold. So yes. you'll never, you know, think twice about going into the closet, throwing on some buffs gear because you know you look fly. You give me one for the people that's going to have to come to this stadium. Yep. Now give me one for the people in Australia. BWBs in South Africa, Australia, all yeah. BWBs, we are heavy out here. So give me something, give me two now, for the people that would never come here. What is something that you would say, if you become a Buff fan, you're going to fall in love for this reason? Honestly, I think it's the people that, that support this program. Like, I think you've seen it 
just in terms of the way that people have embraced, as you're calling it, bandwagon buffs, I, I say you're just buffs to me. Like, you want to you join us, you're with us. Uh, and I think, you know, it's a really, really accepting and loving fan base that we have been down so bad. We have been down so bad that just the fact that people want to come and support this program now means the world to us, and so we're welcoming everyone with open arms. Man, thank you so much for talking to me, man. You, you guys do a great job. Appreciate Continue it. to do what you do. We'll yes. support you. We'll put you on, guys. You got to go subscribe to their YouTube channel. Please tell us their YouTube channel. Go ahead and tell us your YouTube channel so everybody can subscribe. DMVR Sports. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Thanks for talking to me. Yes, sir. All right. We are here tailgating with the DMVR guys, Chris from Alpine Garage Sports. You got to go subscribe to all of those channels. We're walking around, going to the different spots. We got kids out here. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's eating. You know I'm out here. I'm covering it. We're doing what we got to do. I got my family out here. I'm going to point the camera at them so you can see them. They're out here, too. I can't even feel my hands. I was snowballing myself. How are you feeling today? Right now, I'm feeling good. There's a lot of excitement going on. Happy to be a part of it. You're the camera guy, how do you feel? I want some guacamole and chips. I gotta release him of his camera duty so he can go get some guacamole and chips. So go ahead, go get your guacamole and chip, I'll film it. What's it about? now too okay what's going on tell the people about your channel so I'm Harry B I am mr. bandwagon buff I it was just something I just came up with <laughs> and then I just started saying it bandwagon buff and it kind of caught on and now we got people all around the world that come to my channel and they're like yo Harry B go out there let the people know that we out here we support the team we love them you see what I'm saying so we're new here we're here because of coach prime but trust me man we are falling in love with this culture man the culture here is heavy and we love it, man, for, uh, for sure. Tell me about the love for Coach Prime. Like, where does that come from? And how long has that existed for you? So for us, the love of Coach Prime, it doesn't start with coaching. For me personally, it starts with the man. It starts with the, the character. If you guys watch any of my shows, I, I am a Christian man. I believe in God. And, and I always talk about the, the character and the things that he stands for. Yeah. So that draws me to him. That's the first thing. All right? The coaching is secondary for me. So... The fact that he's able to instill the values and those things that he believes in, I think that's going to be worth more because he always talks about 95% of these kids are not going to the NFL. Yeah. So they need something that's going to carry them into the world. I'm a strong advocate for good citizens of the world. I need good citizens out here because that's all we need. It's so toxic right now. Yeah. Better citizens. We got enough football players. He's going to make good football players, but we, we need better citizens. And that's what he's doing. And I don't know why people don't get that, man. That's why I spaz so much about Coach Prime on that <laughs> channel. People don't understand why I spaz, but I'm like, it's the morals and the characters that he's teaching. You're teaching young men to go into the world and you're putting this stuff inside of them, then that means that they're going to go and they're going to spread it. We need more of that, man. That's why I do it, man. For real. For sure. Let him spit. That was beautiful. That was beautiful, man. Hey, <laughs> plug the channel. Plug the channel. For sure. So, TLP Sports Club on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe. My guy Jay put me on, and I've been following them since. It's great, man. I love it. All right. Go subscribe to the channel. Appreciate For sure. you. All right, man. Thank you. I got you guys. I just want you guys to know I got your back. You see people out here having fun? Everybody's out here. Hey, right here. Hey. This is this is this is all the people having fun. Listen, man, are you guys here for prom or you been here before? Oh, we here for prom. You here for prom? Where y'all from, guys? West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah. Prom time. Hey, hey. You know, okay. Montgomery County, Maryland. But Moco represent. You from the DMV? We from the DMV, baby. No. We from the DMV, but we live in New York. We from Maryland, DC, Reverend Moco. I'm, I'm from Riverdale. Oh, we out here at Boulder, Colorado? I've been here for years. I'm a buff through and through. I'm a buff through and through. So you're hosting this, this right here. You let me know this is Yeah, we teed up. Yeah, we teed up. Hey, we just started. We just started. Like, I'm dead serious. This just getting started for sure. <laughs> Yo, this is TRP Sports Club. I'm Harry B with the bandwagon bus. Hey, y'all better tap in with Harry B. That's the guy. Y'all better tap in with Harry B. That's the guy. Harry B is the guy. I'm dead ass. He the, he the man, bro. We teed up. I'm doing what you told me to do. You sent me out here. You said, Harry B, go to Boulder and cover this. I'm covering it for you. This is the family right here, man. It's happening. Everybody get crazy right now, man. We teed. Yo, man. I'm that's. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, 
Y'all for real, appreciate you, man. I appreciate y'all. We're called the BWB, so when you hear us say Ben Wagon Buffs, that's us, okay? Ben Wagon Buffs. We ain't shy to say we Ben Wagon. We here for Coach Prime, okay? All about the bus. This alumni here. I'm subscribing. I'm gonna tap in with him, rap. But I swear I'm just subscribing. But you got to, or you, I can already. I, I came live. It's like I know it's like really random and weird, but I can tell and feel it, man. This is a real good dude. He got some good shit, and I mean it deeply. So I'm already uh, subscribing with him. So I'm already tapped in. Y'all missing out? Y'all better tap in, but I'm already locked in, so we good. But I mean that. I can already feel it. It's something we, I don't even know, but I swear I feel it and I can tell. And I mean that deeply. I swear, bro. My God. Thank you, man. I swear, bro. I appreciate yeah, you. Harry, bro. For sure, for sure. Everybody, I'm serious. I'm not even lying. All right, guys. Thank you, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one, man. All right. Yo, I'm from TRP Sports Club. I'm Harry B. We are called the Bandwagon Buffs. You guys are lifers, obviously, right? You guys have been here. You've been here through the ups and the downs, right? How do you guys feel right now that this so, so much energy? What's your name, guy? I'm Luke. I run through a wall for prime time, man. Let's go Buffs. What about you, man? How do you feel? How, what, are you, I, what are your friends talking about? I just got one thing to say, and it's prime time season. That's what I'm talking about, OK? You're witnessing what happens at the tailgates, guys. This is what's happening at the tailgate. It's exciting out here. They're doing their thing, man. I'm loving it out here. It's crazy out here. We're from New York. Yeah. And uh, I have a. Colorado. I'm doing it Colorado because Dion is here. Yeah, for sure. Coach Prime is here. So. I think that's why there's so many people here. That's why there's so many people here. My people, we're called the BWBs, the bandwagon buffs. Because when Coach Prime came, we started to. We was like, wait a minute, there's a place called Colorado? And then we started remembering songs like. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. It was like, oh, damn, Colorado. This is what Coach Prime, I'm excited to be here. You guys are lifers, right? You guys have been here. You've been a buff for a long time. Is that right? Uh, he, since I was born. Yeah, since he was born. Born and raised. I've, I've been a buff since 87. That's a long time. You know about 87? Well, that's when I moved to Col <laughs> that was when I moved to Colorado, so. He's like recent. <laughs> you been, are you a buff? I am not a Buffs, well, I am a Buffs fan since last year, but I'm a North Dakota Bison fan also. Hit North Dakota Bison. State. So Buffalo Bison, it's all good. Division two, they win it every year. So your team is always winning it. Always. Absolutely. Well, we didn't win last year, but you know. Uh, yeah. and she's, and she's a it's coming. What is your favorite Buffs story? For us um, new guys, who haven't been? Can you, can you get the camera? Okay. For us new people that haven't that haven't been here, we're new here, right? What is the, your favorite buff story? Like a play, something that happened. Well, in 1991, I was at the Orange Bowl when we won the national championship. I've been a fan. I went. I went to see you. Got my undergrad here. Both my kids are buffs. And after I had graduated, I went down there and saw. Them win the national championship. It was just total euphoria. It was just the greatest. I've been a fan since I was 10 years old. And it was just the greatest thing ever. My dad had 50 yard line seats all through the Fairbanks era in the late 70s, 80s. Um, I obviously went to school here and yeah, so my dad taught me everything about football from a very young age. Do you have a favorite player throughout the years? Who's your favorite buff players throughout the years? If you can name one. Well, Darian Hagan was pretty fun to watch. Is that your favorite or you think he was just fun to watch? Hagan, he was fun to watch. What is your favorite buff player? Right now? Well, it could be right now or throughout the years. Uh, I don't know, Cordell was the man. Cordell bought some flash with his slash. Flash and slash? I like Cordell. What about you? Well, I mean, one of my best friends is Blake Anderson, so. He's probably my favorite, but... Is it because of your best friend? Yeah. <laughs> at, least he's, at least he's telling the truth, just like us. We're bandwagons. Rashawn Slum was pretty yeah. freaking awesome, Slum too. Slum was the man. Slum, I think, was the first person that brought national attention. No, it was after the after we won the national championship, well, so... But Slum, but it was, yeah. yeah. Being the Heisman, Heisman Trophy winner, Heisman cool. Trophy winner, that doesn't happen very often no, it does at, at Colorado. What season was your best and favorite season? Obviously, national championship season. Was that the only one? Yes, that's the only one they've had. Okay. Well, we're glad to be here. Your hospitality okay. is infectious, and you guys are very inviting. So thank you for having us. Enjoy. We're BWBs, and we're going to continue to support this team. Absolutely. 
do the ups and downs and everything, okay? We're gonna pound it up, pound it up, okay? Thank you so much, okay guys? When did this start? Can you, can you tell me when this started? So this is a Colorado tradition. We, we do shot skis here. It's, a, it's like a mountain ski thing. So I ordered this off Etsy. It's a custom CU shot ski. So what, what is this thing that is on? What is this? A ski, technically. So that's a ski. I mean, not like, I mean, sometimes it's real skis. This is like a, you know. Is this custom made by somebody like, is there a custom yeah. shot ski person? Yes. Etsy, no. <laughs> it's wrapped up in a, a sheet. Keep it wrapped up in the sheet, in the, in, the, in the closet when it's not being used in the off season. Do these things come off so you can store them? They do, yeah. How long has this tradition been going on? A long, 1990, since we won national championship. And we're going to keep it going until we win again. Y'all been getting drunk since 1990. 1990. Yes. yes, sir. That's when we all graduated, when we won national championship. That's what's up. That's a great tradition. I, I, was, only, I was only 13 in 1990. I was like, <laughs> hey, you guys want a hot dog? Yes, please. Let's get some hot dogs on camera. So is this this is a family uh, tailgate, or is this a company tailgate? It's a family. Uh, it's just friends and family. Friends and family? Yeah. All my friends invited me to come, so I brought all these tasty hot dogs, man. Oh, man. Check this out. I got a company called Urban Hot Dog Collective. I'm launching a uh, food truck next month, and I'm going to show you guys the best hot dog you ever had in your life. Uh oh. Check this out. So, this is my soul dog. It's called a soul dog. This is my soul, like soul. Oh, boy. Korea. So, when you say soul food, Bobby's dog here, check it out. We're gonna do a little barbecue, Korean pork belly on this baby. Right? And got a little kimchi right here. Sriracha aioli. Little sesame. Some green onion, look at that baby. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's right. get it. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Hold the mic. Hold the mic. Okay, guy. What's what's the name of the company again? So it's called Urban Hot Dog Collective. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook for sure. Urban Hot Dog Collective. The Soul Dog. I'm gonna tell you if this Soul Dog has the soul for real. Here we go. Yo. Yo. This is delicious! Woo! Oh my goodness! Yo! If you live in Colorado, if you live around here, you gotta get yourself a soul dog, like for real. This is delicious, man. It's awesome! Amazing, isn't it? Woo! Wow. I'm telling you, it's not a game. The soul dog is for real. The soul dog is good. It tastes good. I got a food truck, Urban Hot Dog Collective. I'll come out and do events for over 200 people. This one's got cream cheese. It's difficult out here today because it's so cold out. Usually the cream cheese will get a little soft. Not today. This is my elote dog. It's my elote dog. We got Mexican street corn on that baby. I said it's amazing. I, I've never tasted a gourmet hot dog before. <laughs> That's what it just strikes me as like a gourmet hot dog. That's a good hot dog, isn't it? Yeah. And and kimchi. I would have never thought about putting kimchi on a hot dog. <laughs> but it works though. We the bandwagon bus, man. We have bandwagon bus. Bandwagon bus, baby. I'm, right I'm born and raised in Colorado. <laughs> My dad was from North Carolina, grew up a North Carolina fan. Wow. Hey, I'm a bus fan now. What's up, man? Bandwagon bus. Hey, man. You got to love it. You, you got to love it. You got to love it, man. Hey, make sure to subscribe to his channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you have to. Blow him up. Blow him up. All right, so we out here tailgating, man. We're having free food. It's fun out here. It's a family affair. It feels like a family environment. Everybody out here having fun. These are true Buff fans. It's beautiful out here. VWB, I got y'all. This is what's going on outside of the stadium.
outside of Coach Prime. Everybody here is excited about this team. We're excited about this team. We know they're going to have a great season. I hope you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, guys. But I'm out here at the tailgate. I am right by the stadium. The sta if you can turn the camera. The stadium is right over here. All right, guys? So, all right, so I'm right here by the stadium, lot 436. Everybody's having fun. There's free food. So whenever you have a chance to come to one of these games, you got to hit up the tailgate. It is absolutely bananas. And the food is great, especially gourmet hot dogs. The hot dog is crazy. That is the best hot dog I've had in my life. I didn't know you could make hot dog that good, bro. I'm not playing. Hot dog is smacking. You gotta follow him on Instagram, but the hot dog is smacking, bro. I'm telling you. Just like we're gonna smack Nebraska at that first home game. We're gonna smack him up and down. Go see you. It's exciting out here. I'm telling you, man. VWB, we are out here, man. We're doing it for sure, man. You see what's happening out here? We're tailgating out here, guys. I wish you were here, but you're not here, but I'm here. I'm your guy, and I'm out here, and I'm tailgating for you. I'm going around meeting the family. I'm going around meeting the Buff family. You see people tailgating all over the place right here. You see people in their car. They're having fun right here. Look at them right here. Everybody's out here having fun. It's a family affair out here. This is Buff Nation right here, baby. I'm telling you. It's crazy out here. Buff Nation. This is the Buff family right here. This is the family, guys. Meet everybody. Look. Everybody's out here. Let's go, boss. So this is how it feels out here, guys. You guys want to know? I'm showing you. I guarantee you, if it was hot, if it was hot, we wouldn't be able to find parking in this place. I can I can guarantee you that. More people would have been here, and it would have been pandemonium. I'm telling you, the energy out here, nobody can describe this feeling for you. You got to experience it for yourself. I'm trying my best to try to help you guys out to understand what's happening here, but you got to get some tickets for that Nebraska game. I didn't know that Nebraska was the number one enemy here, but Nebraska is. So you got to be at that Nebraska game. You got to come out here. You got to have this feeling. I'm telling you guys, Coach Prime needs us to support this team because the support, the energy that we give is going to push this team into that win column. That W is going to happen with the fan base. I'm Harry B. I'm your guy. I got your back. Dude, I watched your shit before. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. And thanks, for, and thanks for saying Nebraska because we hate Nebraska. I, that's what I'm learning out here. I'm le and you're just a prime, you're just a Deion Sanders fan? Yeah, we are, we are here for Dion, for Coach Prime, because we follow Coach Prime for his character. Yeah. And then he's a coach. So that's secondary for, for me and my, my constituents. Yeah. So we love the guy, the fact that he stands for something. We don't get a lot of those. So that's why we like, listen, and man. Now we, you love CU and, and now we love CU. Go and then back. we're learning that <laughs> CU has this great family base. You know what I'm saying? You learn something. I said we're gonna come here as bandwagons, but we're gonna we're gonna love it here. Yeah, I've, I've I've listened to well, you he's say already that. On it. You know what I'm so. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna fall in love. Something's gonna help us to fall in love with this place. Whether it's the flat irons, it's the mountains. Something's gonna help us well, to it fall ain't in love. The snow. I gotta tell you that much. <laughs> Even the snow. Some people like the snow. My yeah. kids was playing snowball fight out here, so I'm sure they're falling in love with something. Yo, thank, thank you, man. man. I appreciate yeah. you. Thanks for doing it. For sure. Say your name, please. Pilato. Pilato. Yeah. Club member. We don't have fans. We have club members. Just like Coach Prime don't have no, no captains, we are club members. That's my guy right there. Woo! <laughs> Who introduced you to the Buffs? My grandma. Your grandmother introduced you, and you've been in love with it since. So what player that you was like, ooh, he's my favorite. Who was your favorite player when you finally were able to speak? Rashawn Salam. Rashawn. Back in the 90s. Back in the 90s. Who is your current favorite Buff player? It's got to be Travis Hunter, right? Shador Sanders, Travis Hunter, Jimmy Horn Jr. You know what? I don't know yet because I haven't seen you him haven't on the field. Seen, right, you haven't seen him really play for the Buffs. I have not. Travis has played for, you know, for Jackson State. Correct. But we need to see how they grit out for the Buffs. Correct. And then we'll make our decisions. Yes, sir. I just did a story on Mel Tucker on my channel. On the TLP Sports Club is my channel. All right, I just did a story. And I'm reading the story and I'm like, oh my God, there's no way. So he's at that meeting. And he knew that he was actually... He was going. His contract was already signed. He was going. That's what I think. And then he's sitting there talking to the Colorado media going, man, I'm staying here. I'm dedicated to the buffs. No, you weren't, you piece of You threw us under the rug as fast as you could. Man, don't turn your back on Colorado. That's just dirty. Okay, let me give you this perspective, because this is, TLP means the Liberian perspective, right? Let me give you this perspective. What do you think he should have done? Because the meetings were already set up. So what do you do in this instance? 
be a man of your word. You said to your players, you said to the media of Colorado that I am the Buffs head coach. I am dedicated to the University of Colorado. Okay, so then be a man of your word. Okay, hold on, hold on. The, the first time, right, they asked him. He said no. Right. Okay, he says no. But then their coach, the Michigan State coach, he quit right before National Signing Day. Antonio. They got in trouble. They were, they were like, they were like saying, uh, we need a coach now, right? Mm -hmm. So guess what? The price went up. Sure. Okay. I want you to answer that from this perspective only. Okay. He has the contract already in his hands. Mm -hmm. But the meetings are already set at the Denver Country Club. Okay. What do you do? That's you. Do you tell them I can't do this meeting right now? Or what do you do? I just from that perspective, forget about everything else. I can't do the meeting right now. Are you sitting here in front of me telling me that your contract is signed and you, you have an obligation to the boosters and to the university? You would tell the university that you wouldn't do the meeting? Well, okay, so hold on a minute, though. That's your perspective. I have an obligation to the boosters and I have an obligation to the university. But at the same time, my backhand is over here. I have another obligation with another booster and another university. Let me let me devil advocate with you right quick. Right, right. You know what the boosters are for, right? Oh, yeah. They're for the money. Yeah. NIL. You can be a two-head devil, screw up the money over here, and still leave. So is there, a, is there a silver lining here? Loyalty. No, but I'm saying, do you think that it was a good thing that he didn't screw up the money? That I don't know, honestly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was trying to get you to. And that's a good point. I, yeah, don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't know, but as a fan, yeah. you as never, a, you would never agree. I'm not going to. I get it. Right? Because I, I feel like we were done dirty. I get, I get the point that you're making. Yeah. One million percent. Because I'm thinking, but don't mess up the money. Right. Not, it doesn't make no, it right. No, it's not a question of it being right. But I'm just saying, like, there's no way you mess up the money. You already gonna screw us over. <laughs> that's true. Right? No, you're absolutely right. But then these are the boosters. These are the people that's gonna write the checks so that we can get new buildings. So don't screw us again twice. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So right. That, that was the perspective. Kind of took it twice there. Right up the pooper. I know, but by that time they, they already wrote the check, so it was it was it, yeah, it was done. It, it was, was over. Done, so it was done. It was over. So he did. He did bad good. Although, you know what, though? Now that you just said that, you're right. I should actually thank Mel Tucker for doing what he did, because if it wasn't for Mel Tucker, we wouldn't have Coach Prime. You see how we arrived at this point? You see how we my got man, here? <laughs> it, it took us a minute. It I'm sorry. It took me a minute. Yeah. But we came at the same time. we spot. got here. Now we got Coach Prime. I was trying to get you here. My man. My man. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. For sure, man. Take care. But I got there. You got there. We we arrived together. My man. My man. <laughs> All right, guys. So I met a lot of great people. We had a lot of great time. I got a lot of invites. Some people wanted to invite me back so that we can have a great time because they like the vibes. They like the kid, the vibe. I have my family out there. I have my son on camera. We were doing our thing. And as you can see, man, these are some committed fans. Buff Nation has some committed fans. We're BWB. We're going to be some committed fans. As long as Coach Prime is here and Coach Prime starts winning, there's going to be more fans that are going to keep coming. Detractors are going to start adding to our numbers, okay? There are people who are from other teams that are coming just for the Coach Prime experience. This is becoming family. We are becoming a big family. You're committed to the Buffaloes. You're committed to Buff Nation. Listen, BWB is going to be a thing. I believe we're going to have our own section in the stadium. You're going to have BWB everywhere. I'm going to keep bringing you this stuff as much as I can, all right? I'm going to leave it right there. I hope you enjoy the interviews from the tailgate. I hope you enjoy meeting some of the people. I hope you enjoy meeting some of these fans. It was fun shooting there. I was out there with my family. Me. We had a great time, guys. I'm working for you guys. I'm making sure that I bring you premium content. I'm making sure that we get the premium buff content right here on this here channel. So make sure you keep it locked here. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. I will see you on the next video. You know who I am. I'm Harry B. And that right there was the Liberian Perspective. That's TLP Sports Club. Brah.